What's up, everybody? We did it. We pressed the button. We are now on Patreon.com backslash Nerd Theory 1, where you can get exclusive content. You can actually make us do things. We're like dancing puppets. You can get your name read out by Stephen Forge and Stephen, say a name. Brian W. Doe. You know you want that in the middle of a podcast, to hear your name, because you're vain. I know it. All right, and you get things like that. I mean, seriously, we're like, we, we'll do that for you each episode. So why won't you? Patreon.com backslash Nerd Theory. <laughs> It has to support the HUD, the visual HUD that the player is looking at. So very much it's kind of works like wallpaper. There's a lot of things you'll look at, but actually once you're playing the game, you'll focus on the things that are giving you information. This time around, we've really made it much more state of the art. It's more spacious. We've got more screens, more detail on the screen. They're in gameplay terms. The two main weapons that we offer to the player are essentially the same, although the machine gun uh, is, is more sophisticated now in that it's using, using actual ballistics for its missiles, whereas previously it was just using line of sight in
next life. Rated M for mature. 25 years after our world was ripped apart from the inside, we had peace. But then, those we loved were taken. Mom! And everything changed. Mom! A storm is coming. And my son is walking right into it. You kept our armor. If we don't stop these things, everyone within a thousand miles dies. The ocean exists. Everything is a speculation, as everything is an hypothesis. Not feelings. Senses, they are real. They exist. Senses and feelings can be virtualized. It is actually highly probable that this whole reality is only a very well-structured simulation. What's the situation? I'm surrounded by fire. Is there any place where you can hide? I'm surrounded by fire. I don't know where to go. It's everywhere. just like you're actually dropping level. It is virtual reality. If you put the mask on, the mirror appears, and you look into the mirror and you see in your own face, it's Batman. So that's when you like really feel it. I felt powerful, I felt strong. It was cool to have like the belt on and to just like grab your stuff and throw it. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Closest thing that you could possibly get to being Batman. Seeing like the I'm Batman, it's just like, it's pretty cool. It is beautiful. Oh man, the graphics on that, you are Batman. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like you're transported someplace else. It's very cool. It was intense. Being able to do different things with his hands and take different gadgets. Being able to look all around and use his gadgets, it really feels like you're Batman. Absolutely incredible. It was amazing. It felt so real. Awesome. Oh my god. Amazing. I want it. <laughs> this is the future. Be the Batman. Be the Batman. Be the Batman.
Until Dawn Rush of Blood is a virtual reality game for PlayStation VR on PlayStation 4. Uh, it's a roller coaster ride, a shooter experience, and all the descent into madness of one of our characters from Until Dawn. So taking some key scenarios and things that we'd know from Until Dawn and approaching them in a very, very different way. In Until Dawn, one of the key things was the branching storyline. You know, the choices you made had impact. So this is Until Dawn Rush of Blood. It's a very different style of game, but it wouldn't be a game in the Until Dawn world if we didn't have choices and the impact. So I'm not going to give anything away about how we're implementing it, but rest assured there are going to be decisions and choices you make while you're playing Rush of Blood that will impact the rest of the game and impact how you play. So we felt VR was a great fit for horror because the immersion level of VR, you know, it's incredibly different when you put that headset on and you're there in the world and we have the aspect of you having your arms in front of you and you can look down and see yourself. We've been working with Sony on PlayStation VR since uh, early 2013, experimenting with VR. We built a, a, a demo for one of the very early demonstrations called Jurassic Encounter. As we were developing Until Dawn and developing uh, the VR experiences simultaneously, we worked out what sort of experiences worked really, really well in VR. And then as we were working that out, it became really obvious that the world and the characters and the environments we were creating for Until Dawn would be a really great fit for putting in a completely different way and delivering as a VR game experience. For the players. Reus is a god game where you control nature through four powerful giants. You can shape the planet to your own will. Mankind will settle, and it's your responsibility to take care of them. By placing plants, animals, and minerals in just the right spots, you can let your people thrive. You can support them in their growth by helping them build their projects. You can maximize their output of food, wealth, and technology through a system of upgrades and synergies. But when mankind gets too much, their greed might get the upper hand. They'll start waging war against each other and against your giants.
レイステーション。
Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman. My client and I understand you want to be a WWE superstar. You, you want to be a WWE champion. Your first stop on your way to superstardom is the Performance Center at NXT. Guys like Finn, Kevin, and Sammy, they ran the same ropes you're running. They did the same training that you are all about to do. Or <laughs> you can upset WWE management and bypass NXT. I have advocated for some that have upset WWE management in the past. Just like Stone Cold Steve Austin, just like The Undertaker, just like Barack Lesnar. It all depends on how ambitious you are, that you may be considered a future Paul Heyman guy. Now, if you're ignorant enough to think this is going to be easy, eh, wrong answer. You're not the only one around here that has big dreams. But if you listen to me, you will quickly learn what it takes to become a main event WWE Superstar. You will learn how to sell merchandise. You will cash huge royalty checks. You will learn how to deal with the authority and you will learn how to deliver to me championships. I will teach you the art of the promo. You will learn how to sway public opinion. And most of all, you will learn how to address millions of fans worldwide. Do what I tell you to do, or my client will introduce you to the rigors of Suplex City, courtesy of the Beast. Barack Lesnar. PlayStation.